Hey YouTube world, it's Greg at uh, Fully Tech again. We got a uh, another vessel in the shop here we're working away on. Um, nice little entry level boat. This customer brought this down the other day. Uh, we're gonna do some maintenance items, get it ready for the lake for the for the big long weekend. Uh, we're also gonna install a ski bar, a couple other accessories, and tidy a few things up in the wiring. You know, I try not to get on the case of uh, different brand names of boats because, to be honest, uh, every manufacturer has a few things that they they shouldn't be too proud of. Um, Certainly, uh, cost is a main driving thing in, in, um, in how well boats are put together and the hardware that that's, goes into putting boats together. But really, the workmanship uh, on, on some brands is better than others. But like I said, I've seen Sea Rays with some pretty nasty uh, workmanship, and I've seen some, uh, some lower-cost boats with some things that are pretty neat and pretty well put together. In this case, not a bad little boat. Really solid floor. It's been kept out of the weather, kept out of the sun. Um, the floor is solid, the stringers seem to be solid, everything's in pretty good shape. Uh, and actually I'm going to point out a little problem here that really isn't a problem yet, but it is a ticking time bomb per se, uh, and I'm absolutely disgusted that this ever made it out of a factory. So here we go. These boats are uh, just like most fiberglass boats. Their uh, bottom half is made in a mold, top half is made in a mold. A bunch of the outfitting is done and then the two halves are, are put together, laminated together and then the final the, the upholstery and stuff is all put in. The final wiring is done and, and out they go. It's a production boat. So in this case the fuel tank was set in and then the upper clamshell was put on and this is not uncommon. Uh, a lot of boat manufacturers make them just about impossible to get a fuel tank out. Uh, so I'm not even upset about that. That's, that's life, it happens. Uh, but what's absolutely egregious is these 90 degree brackets here and I did kind of a double take when I looked at it these brackets are screwed into the floor okay that's fine there's one screwed into the transom here that's fine but you see how it's attached to the fuel tank yep that's right that's directly from the manufacturer someone has taken just a shitty sheet metal screw and put a little bit of some kind of fuel uh, resistant um, sealant, I'm not going to say silicone, but some kind of a fuel resistant sealant and just pop those fucking screws right in there like that. That's fucking garbage. This is going to leak eventually. It's going to fill the bilge up with fuel. You're going to have a spill and probably a fire. So we're going to do the work that was scheduled for the boat. I'm going to have to talk to the customer about a long-term plan because I would not own something like this. This is fucking disgusting. Whoever did this should be absolutely ashamed of themselves. Some engineer signed off on this. I don't know how this boat meets like a Coast Guard approval with holes punched through the fucking fuel tank. Shame. Shame on Bayliner. Bayliner, if you want to sue me for calling you out on this, go right ahead. This is a fact that this came out of your factory like this. Shame on you.